Can y'all try every chef boy RD next? Question mark, question mark, question mark, comma, question mark. FR, which means for real. I put in the effort. This video took like a month of planning, no joke. It isn't like for a month I was on like phone calls being like, okay, let's get this to work. Like, I just mean, it took a long time for everything to get delivered because a lot of these products aren't even like in stores anywhere. So you have to buy them on random websites. There's actually so many Chef Boyardee's that I'm not aware of. Yeah, I literally thought it was just ravioli. And SpaghettiOs. Do they make SpaghettiOs? No, th that's that's a different thing. I'm ready to explore the whole world of Chef Boyardee today. Should we jump into the ocean in front of us then? Sure. Ding. Chef Boyardee chicken alfredo. Pasta in alfredo sauce flavored with white meat chicken. I like how you don't have to use a can opener. That's one of my favorite thing about Chef Boyardee is that you don't need to go through all this work, you just need to do this. Boom, it's open. There was microwave instructions, but when I was a kid, I didn't follow those. You just cook it for like 30 seconds. Yeah, otherwise it gets too hot and burns your tongue. Ready to munch on. I've never had chicken alfredo from Chef Boyardee. I know, I've never had canned alfredo in general. This is innovative. And look how you got a spoon for this. Cause even though it is pasta, like since it's in a can, you kind of have to use a spoon. It's basically a soup. Mm -hmm. Cheers to mm. the chickens. I know this isn't how noodles are supposed to taste, like they're mushy, but I like it. Classic canned chicken. Mm. It's always so dry and flaky. When you look through this, like there's not many pieces of chicken. Like I, I honestly only see one right now. Since chicken might be a little bit more expensive, they just, they pretty much only give you like one or two pieces. I don't like it, but I think as a kid, I would have like always mm -hmm. asked our mom to get this from Walmart. I don't even like chicken Alfredo from restaurants. So I'm not really going to be in love with a canned version, you know? I thought you were like drinking the juice no. out of the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> it just smells so weird to me. Canned food always has this smell and this certain taste that I taste right now. I don't know what it is. It tastes like you're eating something that's made out of plastic, right? Mm-hmm. What I realized was if I'm gonna do this video, I have to figure out like what's the best one and stuff. So I made a quality scale, restaurant quality, fast casual, made by cousin quality. Basically that means like when you're at a family, family reunion and one of your cousin makes sweet potato casserole. Yes, it's good, but it's not like, Oh, it's not so good. And you can, there's always a little bit of hair in it. Mm -hmm. And then out of a can quality. In actuality, these should all be out of a can quality because they are out of a can, but I'm hoping some of them go to the restaurant. Like I, that's my, that's actually my goal. I want to be wowed. Same. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking Chef Buddy Chicken Alfredo is out of a can. Yeah, I was gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and say made by a cousin, but it's out of a can, straight out of a can. I just know if a cousin made chicken alfredo, it would push all me but Oh, this. for sure. You know Dylan, he makes good pasta. Oh yeah, I always tell him he should be a chef. He doesn't believe in himself as much as we believe in him. I know, and I get why he doesn't have self-esteem, but I still wish he did have some. Ding. Chef Boyardee jumbo spaghetti and meatballs. Pasta with meatballs with Pork, chicken, and beef in howdy tomato sauce. The delicacy is done. When I saw that they had a jumbo spaghetti and meatballs, I was surprised that I wasn't on this as a kid. Meatballs are never big enough, so you need them jumbo. I never, Makes sense. I used to just like eating meatballs by themselves. So I was like, these are just good, you know? I had a meatball sub yesterday. You did. A meatball guy, that's me. I am confused why it's jumbo because if we're being honest, this is a very average meatball. I don't think it's jumbo. Maybe for a can it's jumbo, but in general, it's no. regular. Yeah, I was, act you see, okay, you see this? Oh wait, no, even in the photo it looks bad. But with the jumbo, all no. capital, you actually picture half the can to be a meatball. I know, it's like these people on Tinder saying, I have the biggest D in the whole nation. And then you, and it's like, oh, it's an average D, you know? And yeah. I don't get why people do that stuff like that. I know, it does suck when people lie. And it makes me chest, not trust anyone, but mm -hmm. I'll try not to let this trauma affect my future. True. Chills. That's a fall apart meatball. <laughs> that is a dog food meatball. <laughs> well, it's made with pork, chicken, and beef. When they say it's made from three beefs, 
I get kind of scared because there I three just... beeps. Oh no, <laughs> three meats. I get kind of scared because I picture all these meat packing plants having extra reminiscences, like extra bit bits and parts. Ew. And they send it to Chef Boyardee and they mix it up and make it into a meatball. You're like Chef Boyardee hits up the factory and says, "What are the? Do you have any scraps that like you're gonna throw out?" And then they give him the Chef Boyardee and they make it into the meatballs. Again, that's all alleged. But I remember one time we made homemade Italian meatballs and it called for three types of meat. That's the Italian way. That's true. According to a random blog where we got the recipe from. These noodles are iconic. They literally melt in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, those really are melt in your mouth noodles. To a certain extent, it's not even a noodle. It's like a piece of air disguised as a noodle. And the a little worm. <laughs> Yeah, that is what it reminds me of, a tapeworm. But I kind of like it, because it's easier to eat. You know what, people want to be sent to the ER for choking if we all just ate Chef Boyardee. That's true. This is all just melt-in-your-mouth food. We might not be aware of it, but maybe that was the whole point of Chef Boyardee. To create less... Chokings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This tastes exactly like uh, SpaghettiOs, but spaghetti. Mmm, it does. Yeah, like, it's the same sauce. Like, when you were heating this up in the microwave, the iconic smell of the red sauce from a can. Like, what even is that? It's not marinara, just like sugar sauce. It's tomatoes with sugar. Yeah, I think that's mm. what it is. Something that's kind of interesting is that each can has two solvings. I never understood that growing up. I remember like when I first heard that ramen noodles was like two, was 2.5 servings or whatever it is. I remember just thinking, that's when I realized the world was fake. I was like, nobody, and I mean nobody is splitting this between two people. It's sad because like, who is listening to that solving? No one. No, it, that isn't a serving. Just tell us what the actual calories are because this is a one serving packet of ramen. No one's going to be split in a can between a party of people. No. I don't know if I'm the same page, but I was thinking it's made by cousin. Yeah, I think it's a step up. Because the meatballs, they give um, the frozen meatballs, which is what most people make meatballs with at home anyway. So. Oh yeah, so made by cousin. Cute. Ding. Chef Boyardee mini ravioli. Beef ravioli and pasta sauce. Yay, it's done. Chef Boyardee beef ravioli is probably top three most iconic Chef Boyardee products. Yeah, they're known for their ravioli. But this is just the mini version, which I, I never had. I don't think I've ever had mini ravioli from Chef Boyardee. Probably just what tastes the same, I'm assuming. But it tastes kind of like a pumpkin. There is a little bit of a taste. I didn't notice it until you said it. I remember there being more beef in these, but this is the mini. Me and Lucas were saying that when we, when we used to eat this as a kid, we would purposely not heat it up enough so it was kind of cold. And that's what we're kind of doing right now. Yeah, because if you heat it up too much, you have to wait for it to cool off and no one has time for that. I used to love this ravioli, but then I got grossed out because our sister said, um, did you know that a grandma chews the meat up and spits it into the ravioli? I just cut one in half and the meat does just look like Play-Doh. Okay, squeeze the meat out and let it touch your tongue. What? It, uh, it's just gross. What how, even like, is that texture? It isn't meat, it's just like a paste. Ew. This one isn't as good as the big beef ravioli. Yeah, I remember that being better. So I don't know if the mini is where you should be going. Out of a can, right? Yeah. I've had the ravioli in like the frozen section that you boil and it's way better than oh, this. Oh, that is, I think that's why I don't F with this anymore since I've had real noodles. Like I've had real tortellini and not by real, I mean from Trader Joe's. <laughs> but like I've had like, you know, the, the types you get and you actually have to boil. It's okay, just a whole different experience. Way better. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we're gonna get any in the this section. I, we still have a lot more. That's true. So I hope so. Ding. Chef Boyardee pasta in butter sauce. Oh, this one doesn't have a, a description because it's pretty obvious what it is. Lucas was born seven years before me and I just wanted to make sure, like, was this a thing when you were a kid? But you kind of were telling me that you don't even know what, you've never seen this ever. Yeah, this must be a rare one. You had to get this on a special website, right? Yeah, with basically all of these except five of them, I had to get them off random grocery store websites. And I was kind of scared like, okay, yes, they have the inventory of pasta and butter sauce, but is it overdue? So then I looked at the overdue date, and this is the earliest one. This one gets overdue on February 18th, 2024. So that actually is kind of soon, yeah. So I'm assuming this was probably made 
I'm getting like 2012. Cause how long would this last for out of a can? Don't they not expire for like 10 years? Yes, it probably was made in 2012. Yeah, something like that. Pasta and butter sauce just in general, I never really understood. <laughs> I do like how this isn't like, what are these like pinwheel noodles or something? You could tell this is a kid one. Mm hmm. <laughs> Mac and cheese. No, I actually like this one. Yeah, it tastes like a light mac and cheese. I would say this tastes exactly the same as when you overcook Kraft mac and cheese. Mm, you overcook the Kraft and then you leave too much water in the bowl so the cheese doesn't even actually hit the noodles. Cause you know, it doesn't taste mm. that cheesy. I think this is my favorite one so far. Yes, this was on the Chef Boy RD website. So it's still a thing, but why do you think it never like made it national? Like why was it in our town when we were going up at the Wama? I don't know. Like I would say maybe it's because making butter noodles is so easy, but like this is way easier. You don't have to boil anything. I'm kind of surprised why this isn't more of a hit. Um, Definitely not out of a can for me. I don't know if it's the fast casual, but like what type of fast casual place are we talking? At the airport maybe? <laughs> yeah, because I could see this being solved at Sonic. And Sonic oh. is a fast casual place. Yeah, this is fast casual. None of these could be served at Sonic, but this one actually could. So this, it should be fast casual. Yeah, I but with that being said, I think it's fast casual at the gross fast casual Yeah, the place. bottom <laughs> of the barrel fast casual. Yeah. There we go. Ding. Chef Boyardee beef beefaroni. Pasta and tomato and meat sauce. Excited for the boys to try this one. I'm pretty sure this was my favorite. It, really? it was my favorite for sure. Yeah, I don't know if I made this one that much. It, it reminds me of like a midnight snack, this one. Mm -hmm. is giving that Looking me. at the bowl though, where's the beef? It's really tiny. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that like everyone knew what beefaroni was. You mentioned this while you were cooking it. It's not ever at restaurants. Beefaroni is never at a restaurant. Same with goulash. People know of them, but you never get them at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Cause what is beefaroni? How is it not spaghetti? This is this is my de definition. Noodles, but specifically not spaghetti noodles. Mm. With sauce and meat sauce, and usually there's cheese, but I don't think this one has cheese. But that's just my fake definition. I remember loving beefaroni <laughs> at elementary school, at the elementary school like a cafeteria. They had so much cheese to it. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> This one still hits. Like, I am not joking, this one hits. You have to admit. No, it actually is good. Even the sauce is butter. Like, mm -hmm. if you look at the sauce, it seems like there's more spices happening. And the noodles are better. Like, they aren't so, like, falling apart in your mouth so easily. More al dente. <laughs> Every can says no artificial flavors, no preservatives. But um, I was on the Wikipedia, and I guess someone sued them a few years ago. Wait, why? The drama. It says no preservatives, but citric acid is in the ingredient list, and I guess that's a preservative. Wouldn't there have to be preservatives? How else would it last in this can so long? I know, like how would meat be lasting? Yes, yeah, so like they can say whatever they want, but there is a preservative, you know? When you think about the word preservative, all it is saying is that there's something in here to preserve it. Yeah. But I love okay. how they tried to scam, you know? <laughs> so I'm thinking fast casual, but the only reason why I'm kind of leaning toward you guys, John, a little <laughs> bit is because I'm not talking about an actual Italian restaurant. I'm thinking more of like a Cheesecake Factory. If we're being completely mm. honest, Cheesecake Factory pasta, and same with Olive Garden, it's nothing special. And this is nothing special. But I think I would still keep it in the fast casual, just in case. I agree you know? with you too, yeah. I do think that if Olive Garden or Cheesecake added this to their menu, people would be mad and say, ew, why would they add this? <laughs> Beefaroni. Cute. Ding. Chef Boyardee beef ravioli. In pasta sauce. <sighs> this is the classic. Oh yeah, this is the the one that started it out. Mm. I don't know if that's true, but like in my mind it yeah, is. Yeah, in our family at least, like this was always the top dog of Chef Boyardee, you know? I'm excited to see if it tastes way different than the mini. I'm just gonna go in with the whole ravioli, no bites, just one big bite. Mm. Mm. 
You get more meat. Was the meat always like this? I think it was. We just didn't have standards as kids. But like also it's so weird because I want to know if these shrunk. Because you know people always say everything's shrinking, shrinkflation. Or like am I just a bigger body now? You know, but when I was a little kid, I remember I would picture them to be like this big. I'm not kidding. I'm going to guess they haven't shaken it just because your mouth is bigger. Yeah. <laughs> With beef bologna, I was actually thinking like I would get this and like have it as a midnight snack sometime. But this one I would never I get know, it again. It's just sad because like I remember being a kid and eating this and being wowed and thinking this is so good and just loving it. But what was I on? Like this is just shit. You are not cultured. I know literally. <laughs> now that I've been to Italy. Yeah, I've never been. But like, <laughs> I think it's something about the meat. It just... It it's, reminds me of ale wax. Obviously, I've never eaten diarrhea, but it has the texture of that. <laughs> Ew. Uh, I mean, how could I enjoy the meat after you said it's a an old lady bit it up and spit it in there? Like, look at the photo of the meat they show. Like, there's no chunks at all. They make it seem like it, there's chunks. It is, it's a paste. It's a meat paste. I also love in the photo, this is like kind of subtle to me because I wouldn't really notice it at first glance, but there's like tomatoes and onions. Like, they really are trying to make it seem like from the ground. I know, and I understand like since it's canned and the price is very cheap, but like I know for a fact that when Chef Bardi was alive, he probably made a mean ravioli that actually was good, you know? Oh yeah, but now since it's so um, mainstream, sold mm -hmm. everywhere, it's different. You know women were like dropping their panties for his ravioli back in the day. For sure. I don't even think when you talk about it, yeah. it's out of a can, right? Yep, a little piece of shit. <laughs> I do have to agree. Ding. Chef Boyardee cheesy burger mac and che macaroni. Pasta and cheesy meat sauce. <laughs> good times. These are the good times. I don't want to say this because we're so early into this video, but I think this was the one where, when I saw this on the Chef Boyardee website, by the way, there's 19 cans that are lifted on the Chef Boyardee website that are being sold at this moment. And one of them was this cheeseburger macaroni. I would, so going back to what I said, when I saw this, I think it started with a tapping in my finger. Six hours later, I was wondering why I was still on the couch, squivering, squivering. And I realized that there is some truth in non-human, non-touch pleasure. Because you were just that excited to ingest this. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'm just the grossest person, but why does this actually look good to I me? I know, like, looking at this, I'm like, okay, a little balls of meat, like, <laughs> I'm just so excited. <laughs> it reminds me so much of school cafeteria food, which to me is actually a good vibe mm -hmm. in this exact moment. Did you, um, like, bruise your thumb? Yeah, I slammed it against my vehicle door the other day, not on purpose. Oh my god. I never thought it's, it was on purpose, but thanks for clarifying. Just in case you try to admit me to like the, I don't know. <laughs> Wait. The cheese? It's not there. Ew, why is there like a film in my mouth? <laughs> this butter not be overdue. No, it's not overdue at 2020. You know what I mean? Like there's like a film. To me, this just tastes like beefaroni, but with no flavor. I feel like it kind of is good though, but it's missing something. It's like a step above, because like whatever that film is, like, I like it, but it has no flavor, but like if the film had a flavor, I would like the film. So if you taste the only the cheese will go by itself, it just tastes like the normal beef. So they are kind of lying. Like I thought it was gonna be a different type of thing. Wow, like since you built it up so much, it is a disappointment. I don't get any cheeseburger flavor. And that's what uh, I was um, expecting. I that's just, true, I don't. It just yeah. tastes like nothing. It tastes like nothing and I feel nothing from eating it. For the last 45 days, in the back of my mind, I think this was something I was looking forward to. Doesn't live up to any of my imagination. I'll say it, it ruined my 2023. Chef D on the front is smiling, and this isn't, I'm not blaming Chef D. Like, the actual man himself, I'm not blaming you. I'm just mad at whoever created this. And I know. It's, it's, it's somewhat, it's not Chef D. I know it. Like, I'm just mad that whoever did that, that was on the board of Chef D did this. And I'm just like, actually mad. And I'm mad about like private stuff that I don't want to bring on camera. So like, this is just adding, you know? Yeah. Out of a can. Right? Oh, for sure. I was gonna say maybe the cousin, just because the noodles weren't as gross as like some of the other noodles. Like maybe it should be a made by cousin because cousins can make some flops, you know? I was thinking the same exact thing for the same reason. I was kind of thinking made by cousin solely because the noodles actually taste like noodles that you'd boil. Like mm -hmm. they don't taste so gummy. Yeah. Let's do made by cousin. Made by a flop cousin who can't cook. Ding. Chef Boyardee overstuffed Italian sausage ravioli. And howdy tomato sauce with sausage.
I couldn't wait. You can just say, I, I, what are you feeling I should go oh, for? Oh, I'm actually excited because, like, <laughs> I'm excited for an overstuffed. Like, I've never had their overstuffed ravioli, so, like, maybe it'll be the redemption for ravioli, you know? I think I'm letting the cheese burger mac and cheese overcloud my vision. Can we actually, let's actually just meditate for 10 seconds. Oh, true. The only thing I'm not liking from a visual standpoint is that some of the raviolis at the bottom fell off. All of them are falling apart. Yeah, the, the overstuffed. It's so overstuffed that they're falling apart, chef. So maybe send it back and make it again. At this point, it's like a sandwich. <laughs> Whatever. This is elevated. There's more flavor. Wait, is there sausage or something? Italian sausage. Mmm. Chef Boy D, if you're watching, can you make every single of your Chef Boy D? Canned with Italian sausage, please. I know, like, please. Pretty please. <laughs> it's also funny because when we think of Chef Boyardee, we think like, oh, it's two dollars. Oh, a dollar. But somehow this video costed a hundred dollars to buy all these. Oh, damn. <laughs> I got these for like 99 cents a can. It's because I had to buy them on these weird ass websites. Yeah, the sausage is good. But it still has the Play-Doh consistency. Mm, not as like gummy, not as pasty as the other ones. There's also this one flavor in here that would never be from a restaurant. Like sort of like a vitamin flavor or like <gasps> something gross like that, like multivitamin. Yeah, I did that flavor too. After you eat it, there's this aftertaste of multivitamin. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that's telling me it's not from a restaurant. This could be Olive Garden. You know what I mean? Cause like it's upscale. The ravioli itself though is so, is so melt in your mouth. Mm. It's like, wouldn't a restaurant not do that? Let's taste just the ravioli. Just the bread. I mean, it's a little bit below, but like that pretty much is Olive Garden. Fast casual, right? It's really close to restaurant. Though. Yeah, almost as restaurant, but I, I think because of the vitamin aftertaste, it'd, be a, it'd probably be a more of a Sonic drive through thing. I could 100%, no joke, see this being solved at um, Fazoli's. Mmm, for sure. Congratulations, like this is a feat. Like this is really impressive. I know, especially after how much smack we talked about the other ravioli, like this is pretty good. It does make me mad. I already put it there, so it's the final verdict, but the photo. Look how meaty that looks in the photo. It looks like actual ground meat. Whereas in real life, it is Play-Doh, but... And the little Facetune hose. I would say brands like this created, um, the era of Facetune. And body dysmorphia. Yeah. Great job, Chef Boyardee. Ding! Chef Boyardee spaghetti and meatballs. Pasta with meatballs made with pork, chicken, and beef in tomato sauce. We actually started out with the big and butter spaghetti meatballs, the jumbo one. So now we're just downgrading to the normal spaghetti meatballs. Girl, it's the exact same size. Like maybe, no. maybe 10% smaller, 15% smaller. Put this on a side by side with the jumbo. That's the exact same size as the jumbo. It's a little bit bigger. I, I'm on Chef Boyardee's side. This is embarrassing, but Chef Boyardee manipulated me. I fell for the branding, Lucas is right, I'm wrong. Looks like a testicle. Isn't it probably testicles? Okay. Cheers. Yeah. You, you, what? I feel like I'm eating a bubble gum. <laughs> just spit it out. These noodles really, really re remind me of just like, Centipedes and shit. I'm not even trying to be like, oh, I've always been a Gwyneth Paltrow person, but I remember even being a kid and not liking the spaghetti. Mom actually made real spaghetti growing up. So like, I was like, mm. oh, this isn't right. I said to the can, not to like anyone in particular, but mom never made like ravioli growing up or other stuff. So like, I had nothing to compare it to, but I knew something was off about this even back then. I'm not even kidding. I would say the flavor is good. Like the flavor actually doesn't gross me out. Mm hmm It actually has a little bit of a different flavor than the jumbo one. There's more of like a pepper or something. TV just tastes like the blandest ever. Looking at this, we put the jumbo spaghetti meatballs on the Made by Cousin. I would mm. put this on out of can, yeah. but the jumbo meatballs does dissolve Made by Cousin because it's something different they put in more effort. Yeah, even though in my mind they were the same size, but. 
He would have puked up a little bit. That's happened to me in so long. How you feel, yeah? You know, like when you were you were, when you were a little kid, and every now and then you'd you'd burp, and then like an actual food would come up. That just happened. Mm. There's something about canned food that causes it. Ding. Chef Boyardee mini pasta shells and meatballs. Pasta with meatballs made with pork, chicken, and beef in tomato sauce. This one was making noise in the microwave. Don't be mad. This is just really intriguing to me. Like, I didn't know they did shell pasta. You know how there was a while on YouTube where like mini things were big? They still are, like mini objects. Like it gets millions of views. Like something about people also want mini food, I guess. I have a feeling that these noodles are gonna be some of the best noodles we've had. Something about this From just- From it, it seems fancier than the others. Yeah. The noodles are still gummy. I actually like the meat better. It's not as dog food-ish. Even the mm. sauce in this one, it's it's reminding me of something different. Yeah, I don't like it though, but like it tastes different than the other sauces. I know I've already said this, but it just reminds me of ale wax because I've actually tried ale wax. I've just like done that when I was little and tied it. And you know how, it, have you done that? Mm -hmm. You know how it tastes so bitter? Mm -hmm. That's kind of what this literally tastes like, no joke. Ugh. This has mini meatballs in it, and those meatballs actually remind me of meat. They're premium. Yeah. Another thing about this mini one, they um drove a little bit away from the usual aesthetic of the can. Different fonts, you know what I mean? They're more of a bubble font, not the oh, classic font. Oh, yeah. Maybe this is more of a kid thing then, because that gives me kid energy. Yeah, I think it is meant for kids actually, which makes sense. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking made by cousin. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. But then pardon me, I don't know if this is cheating what I'm about to say, but fast casual, because it would be on the kids menu. But that's all of these, kid menus. Oh, okay, so that's you made by cousin. Yeah, made by a, a cousin who needs to be put down. Yay! Ito mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Boyardee, the man behind Chef Boyardee, opened an Italian restaurant in 1924 in Cleveland, Ohio, after leaving the Plaza Hotel in New York City. He was the head chef at the Plaza Hotel. So he was kind of a big deal. Customers that would go to his Italian restaurant loved the sauce so much that they would ask him if they could take the sauce home. So he started bottling the sauce, like putting it in milk bottles and letting the customers bring it home. And that's what kind of started Chef Boyardee as we know it today. Just four years later in 1928, he opened his own factory and the first product was a ready to make spaghetti kit. Also, you might be thinking, why is it called Chef Boyardee if his last name is actually not Boyardee? Well, I'm gonna answer that question. He named it Chef Boyardee because he wanted to make it easier for non-Italian people to pronounce his name. If people saw this version of Boyardee, they wouldn't know how to say it for the most part, whereas if they see the Boyardee that we know it today, it looks pretty easy to pronounce. And then in 1946, he sold the company for $6 million. I did the calculations and with inflation, that would equal around $100 million in today's world. That's all I know about Chef Boyardee, but I find it pretty fascinating that there's an actual Italian man behind this brand. Lucas just coughed. Let me set this down and let's, I'll give Chef Boyardee a clap. Thanks for creating this brand. And I think his family also was kind of, kind of created the brand too. So thanks to his family. And it's cool that it's made by um, an actual Italian. Ding. Chef Boyardee cheese ravioli. In tomato sauce. Idiot. I gotta say, I'm excited for a vegan option. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when, when I pulled this one out of the can and I saw the sauce was more good, I was super excited. I know, like we've been complaining about the other raviolis, how when you bite in, you get the meat paste. We're gonna get a cheese paste, which I think is less gross. And maybe I'm wrong, but all these Chef Boyardee's don't have cheese in them. Like oh, yeah, beefaroni, so. ravioli. That's not like, I'm intrigued to know like what type of cheese is gonna be in here. Yeah, like mozzarella cheese. <laughs> What 
Okay, it's Lunchable cheese. It reminds me of the Lunchable pizza cheese. <laughs> that's really specific, but that's what it reminds me of. Yeah, it seems like this, they didn't put meat in it. They said, we're gonna add way more seasoning or something. And when I was biting into mine, I got like a... <laughs> this sounds disgusting. But, um, a string. <laughs> Ew, uh, I just don't like it, unfortunately, you know? Like, I actually think I would rather have the meat paste ones. I was actually thinking I'd rather have this one. Even the texture of the ravioli doesn't like scream out of a can, so it could be made by cousin, but mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe casual, fast casual, like if you're in like a vegan place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I actually don't think so. No, but even a cousin wouldn't be able to pull this off. Like, I guess they would. I'm picturing homemade ravioli, but they would just buy the ones in, like from Trader Joe's. Uh, it probably is out of a can, right? Yeah, I think we're trying to be too generous, you know. Sorry, chef. Ding. Chef Boyardee mini beef ravioli and meatballs. Beef ravioli and meatballs made with pork, chicken, and beef and tomato sauce. <sighs> These cans are starting to smell weird to me. Let's go! <laughs> Okay, this one's really beefy. It's beef ravioli with mini meatballs. Oh my, you get double meat. This is like for the protein lovers. So we've already had the mini beef ravioli. This is just adding meatballs. All right, so get, make sure you get a bite with the meatball. Yeah, a bite with anything. Chills. Cheers. Mm. Wait, this one's actually pretty good to me. I know, I don't know if it's because we just had that cheese thing. This is refreshing. Like I'm enjoying it. This is so much flavor. It actually looks like ground beef in there. I'm gonna take a bite of this one. Something about my whole perception of reality changed. I'm not joking. I know, it's just like, okay. This one's meant for kids, but like, this would be good for an adult. Something about the meatball with the ravioli and it being a mini, it aligns your chakras. This is way more howdy than the other ones, which, mm. I, which is why I think I'm like on it so much. Because it has meatballs and beef ravioli. Like it feels like I'm getting something. This Look. one is it. Yeah. It feels like with some of the other cans, I'm hiding something about myself. Whereas this oh, one, it's true. like, okay, finally, I'm gonna be my real self. And mm -hmm. I don't care if you don't like it. I'm Come out be. to the family. Yeah. Okay, so even though we were raving about it, it definitely isn't restaurant. I was almost gonna say maybe restaurant, but that's just me being annoying. Like, I, I want to be nice to it since it's like one of my favorites, but it, I would be doing it a disservice. It'd be like if you were Simon Cowell on American Idol and you really connected with one of the singers, you would say, let them win. But then you realize they aren't a star and they're ugly, you know? And yeah. it isn't, they aren't gonna succeed. This is a fast casual, it's not a restaurant. I even was kind of thinking made by cousin, but the amount of raving we were doing about it, it yeah. has to be fast casual. I could see this at like a diner type place, you know? I'm picturing you at a gas station and they have a pretty nice restaurant mm -hmm. and you order the one pasta dish, which is mini ravioli with meatballs and this is what you get. Yeah, and you, you eat it and you like it. You aren't in love, you aren't gonna... You're not gonna go back and sit, tell your whole family, oh my gosh, go to this gas station restaurant. But it was somewhat enjoyable. Ding! Chef Boyardee mini ABCs and 123s with meatballs. Pasta with meatballs made with pork, chicken, and beef and tomato sauce. Auto for Lucas and Jacob coming right up. <laughs> This is the ultimate little kid one. I know, you gotta spell your little name with it. Be all aesthetic, learn how to count. I don't know if I see any numbers though, I only see letters. Did they lie? Oh. oh that's a six, or a nine. A nine, yeah. There's a B for my bitch mom. <laughs> <laughs> and what every kid thinks when they eat this. I have two meatballs. That is iconic. I don't know what it is about the noodles being shaped as letters. That just brings it to this icon status. This is the same exact thing as SpaghettiOs. Mmm. Even this the meatballs is... hit. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'm like actually meant to always eat ABC and one, two, three. I food. know. These noodles aren't as gummy as usual. There's some texture there. Couldn't you see a fancy ass restaurant having noodles shaped as letters? Cause that would just be so cool. Oh yeah, but having it as an adult meal. Yeah, like an indie place, you know? Part of me is saying restaurant because of my thing, like the way they could market it, you know? But if we're being completely honest, like it, it well, when would you go to a restaurant That's true. This? But like, it is good though. Like it's definitely more than made by a cousin. So fast casual. Mm, I think that's the happy medium. 
Perfect. You would expect this one to be an out of can too, but it really, it, it made us happy. Ding. Chef Boyardee mac and cheese. Pasta and cheese flavored sauce. A little baby portion. Okay. If I would have known about this as a kid, I would have got it. Every time. Like, making macaroni is so annoying. This is just so easy. You rip open the can, throw it in the microwave, it's the easiest thing in the world. Is there actually cheese in here? It smells like, um, Easy Mac. Okay, so I don't see any cheese. All I see is cheese flavor. Okay. Oh. What's cheese flavor? One of the ingredients is cheddar cheese. So there is technically mm. cheese in here. Now, I would have high expectations, but the cheesy burger mac and cheese one had no cheese flavor. But I, I just would hope that this would have cheese flavor because because it's supposed, it's supposed to have it. Yeah, I, I somehow feel like this might hit. This was also really thick. Mm-hmm. So many places have macaroni that tastes like this. So many. The instant one I'm thinking of is KFC. Yes! It actually tastes like KFC mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. Like it's good. It's like a different type of mac and cheese, but it's good. There's barely any difference between this and pasta and butter sauce. Oh yeah, this has a little more of the yellow flavor. I'm heavily surprised. I, I was actually just expecting it to taste like nothing. Like I feel like you'd go to some like rib place, like a barbecue type place, and they would have this as one of the sides and you'd be like, yeah, this is good. We've been saying so much, these noodles taste like gummy, but you know how so many places, even restaurants, already make the mac and cheese gummy? Because, because it's, it's just fun. Yeah, I feel like people love gummy mac and cheese, mm -hmm. myself included. Yeah, you don't really want gummy spaghetti, but you do want gummy macaroni. I also love the color, like it is vibrantly yellow. I remember one of the first times I had mac and cheese that wasn't yellow. I'm pretty sure it was at How to Got Cafe and I got mac and cheese and it was it was like in that white sauce. And it was being a little kid and it, and it being ruined for me. Cause mm. I was like, what? why is it in white sauce? And it still tasted good, but I'm pretty sure the presentation actually ruined it for me. I just love the packaging of Chef Boyardee. Like this one has little uh, blocks of cheese. It just reminds me of a little mouse. It's very cute. I know that little mouse man, Stuart Little. So I said while eating it, it reminds me so much of KFC, but I'm not even joking to be funny. I actually could see this one in the restaurant. Yeah, because like I said, if it was a barbecue restaurant, it'd be a side. I think it deserves to be in a restaurant. Yeah, let's 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 open up the category. Uh, someone deserves to be there and it's macaroni. Yay! Someone made it! But I would say if you're opening a restaurant and this video is influencing you and you're thinking like, oh, they thought it was from a restaurant, so what is gonna have that be on mac and cheese? You need to add something. So if I opened a restaurant and I had this on the menu, I would add some like extra cheese. Pepper. Yeah, just so people think like, oh, it, it tastes a little bit different than the mm. chop buddy one. I just think it's crazy how one of these ended up in the restaurant category. So it proves that if someone hates your guts, they might just hate this aspect of you, but there's an aspect of you that people love, you know? Yeah, so it's all about finding that aspect. Mm -hmm. But also maybe you just love being hated by everyone, you know? It's true. Everyone's different. Ding. Mini spaghetti and meatballs. Pasta and meatballs made with pork, chicken, and beef and tomato sauce. There's nothing else I can say. Hey, hey. Wait, so what's the difference between this spaghetti? Now we're on the mini spaghetti and meatballs. Okay. So um, the normal spaghetti meatballs, the jumbo one, now the mini, they should all taste the same. Those meatballs are very mini. This one looks way more uh condensed than the other spaghetti meatballs. I remember the other ones being more watery. Mm, true, that this one's more like sludgy. Okay, it's not. <laughs> this one really is slime. I'm not joking. Yes. It's slime. Goo. But I'm not gonna lie, like, even though I don't enjoy it, like, I think I like it better than the other spaghetti ones because they just grossed me out. <laughs> no, no, this one's grossing me out out of, like, any one we've had so far. I know, even before you put this in front of me, when I was looking at it in, over there, it's just, ugh, it's just a little sludge food. I hate it. You shouldn't eat spaghetti out of a can. Okay, when you get down to it, and now uh, you could say that, Ow. say, is the chef buddy making you have like back pain? I think so, actually. You could say this about so many of the things, but I specifically spaghetti. It's so easy to make. So I why know. are you getting out of a can? The Italians are pissed. 
They're rolling over and Even though Chef Boyardee actually is an Italian. That's a weird thing that one of the Boyardee grandkids might be watching this. Um, I actually read this article about one of them has a cookbook. So there is like a chance like she's watching this, hey? But she oh, probably yeah. isn't. Okay, this one doesn't even need to have a discussion. It's out of can. Oh yeah. Are all the spaghettis, you, why do we put one of these not and out of the can? They all suck. We have integrity. I think it's it's meant to be there. Okay, it's meant true. to be there, okay? Ding. Chef Boyardee oval stuffed beef ravioli. In pasta sauce. Impatient, so I'm taking it out early. <laughs> Another big veggie ravioli. This is the next one. They have two of them. They have the Italian sausage. Wait, what did you say? Big Betty ravioli. Oh, okay. You know, this is the beef one, and the same thing's happening. They're all falling apart. It's like mm. a sandwich, not ravioli. I know, see you guys? The bottom, the fell off because it's that stuffed, which could be a good thing. Like, they're stuffing it with that much meat. It isn't staying together, you know? Cheers. Cheers. No, it actually tastes... <laughs> what? It tastes good, but as I was biting into it, I don't know why this visual came into my mind. I pictured me eating a human ear. Because it was shaped like that, the little curve. I pictured me biting into a human ear and it was just so gross. The vision that I had in my mind, it was this black and white film. And this guy comes out of a bound that he's been trapped in for 15 years. And he's in like the middle of nowhere. And the first thing he finds is this. And he's loving it, but like, it's just so ghost to me because like, obviously he would love it because he was trapped in a bound for oh, so many yeah, years. Oh yeah, so like he would love anything. Yeah. If you're gonna get one of these ovos stuffed, Raviolis, get the Italian sausage because that one had flavor. This one is just no more ravioli, boy. Honestly, I don't even care about the flavor. It's just the texture of the meat. I can't. Paste tube of meat and I can't with it. I don't know why they're doing ovo stuff because the normal ravioli, <laughs> the normal ravioli, it's a good amount of meat. You can just get over it. But with this, your tongue is all in contact with the meat, so you fully feel it. I know, like you're so like, bad. your tongue is penetrating the ravioli at one point. Like you bite and your tongue into the ravioli and you hear this meat sack and all the sludge of meat is going into your throat. It's just not it. Yeah. Chef Boyardee, more like chef, no please. Yeah. I guess there's nothing to think about out of a can. Yeah, out of a can, it's sludge. There. Ding. Chef Boyardee, mini spaghetti rings and meatballs. Beautiful night. I'm looking for something dumb to do. This one's like a, a whole mouthful spaghetti rings. Yeah, something about spaghetti rings just doesn't sit well with me. I know they can't call it spaghetti o's for copyright reasons, but maybe spaghetti circles, spaghetti rounds, spaghetti rings. Like, I don't know what what about it is so gross to me. Looking at it, it looks like a bunch of worms or something. No, I think we've seen too many of these. You know, you're not supposed to see this many in one day. Whoa, totally desensitized, but also like oversensitized. Yeah, it's just too much. What was the point of creating this one? I know. Mm, I do like it better than some of the other salad. It kind of is like the ABC's one. Like it, it is good. It's definitely better than the um, spaghetti. Oh. Something about the spaghetti noodles is so gross. Was these noodles? I'm okay with it. It's literally just SpaghettiOs. Look at this, guys. This is just a block of beef. Mm. Oh, meat. This isn't a meatball. Because what I've noticed throughout this video is that a lot of the meatballs are stuck to each other. Like, that was yeah. supposed to be two meatballs. So it must be a thing in the factory where they form them into the little nut sacks or whatever. Like, they're all in a little line, see? Yeah, so then some of them get stuck together. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yes, like, we liked it, but isn't it just out of a can? With a good heart, I can't put it in the same category as spaghetti. I just, I can't even name it in the same sentence. So but made by to, cousin. Yeah, it has to be made by a cousin. I guess when we're looking at the pasta shells and meatballs, which is on made by cousin, it's j just as good as yeah, the wings. Exact same. Ding. Chef Boyardee lasagna. Pasta and tomato sauce seasoned with howdy meat. We will survive. This one is one that you could buy at the grocery store, um, a popular one, but I, think I don't I had this. Oh, sorry. Say. I, was, I think I had this one as a kid, and I don't want to say anything to 
make you hate it, but I didn't like it. Okay, because I don't have a memory of eating this, but I could, if it sold out Wamo, I probably did eat it like one, yeah, one I point. Yeah, remember you think it would be good, but it just isn't. But maybe they've changed it, it's been like 20 years. So usually when you eat lasagna, it's not so watery. So it, yeah. this doesn't remind me of lasagna. The only thing that reminds me of lasagna is the noodles, but even the noodles don't, it's just way old. Yeah, it's more of like a, I don't even know, bow tie noodle. What so inhale good. actually is lasagna at the end of the day? I don't know, but something about whatever sauce they use is actually different than me to the spaghetti rounds and stuff. Like it, it does look doko. It's just gross. With these like adult ones, there's a there's like more of a bitter sauce or something. I think that's why I think what I what it comes down to is that I don't like the way the adult ones taste. I like more of the kid flavor where but whereas the adult one, it's like I, I just want to have an actual lasagna. I don't want this weird in between. Also, if you out a new can lasagna, I, I know this would actually probably take a lot of effort, but it'd be kind of cool if it actually was stacked like lasagna mm. inhale. A layer of sauce, a layer of cottage cheese, oh, cream cheese, cottage cheese, ricotta, whatever. Yeah, there needs to be cheese. Every lasagna I've had has cheese. Like, I think they should call this lasagna soup. Yeah, we were just totally hating and our hate, in my opinion, is totally um, okay. We didn't say anything that wasn't fucked. It's out of can. Out of can, 100%. But if it said lasagna soup, I would say made by cousin, but it doesn't. It's still the flavor is just gross, I can't. The flavor to me wasn't that bad, but still. Ding. Chef Boyardee, mini ABCs and one, two, threes. Pasta and tomato sauce. <laughs> Z. So this is the same exact one that we had a while back, but it doesn't have meatballs. Was the other one have, or was it meat sauce? No one had meatballs. Oh, okay. So this one's more of the vegan option. This one was so difficult to find, by the way. Like, really? It's not, it wasn't sold at any of the Walmarts by us. So you bought it online. Wait. Wait, it's overdue. Mm -hmm. It's not overdue, 2025. This? What made you think that? Do you get that weird flavor that I know. we haven't tasted this whole video? Yeah. It just tastes like shit. Why does that taste so different than the meatball one? The first thought I had while eating it was, oh, these noodles actually are good noodles. They aren't so soft. Oh, they are hard noodles. But the sauce is something's off with this batch. I'm not taking another bite. That sauce, Lucas said it tastes like shit. It doesn't actually taste like shit. It tastes, it just tastes really bad. Yeah, I just rancid. Even if the sauce wasn't like that, I would still say out of a can. Yeah, it's not good. What kind of gunning out of room? I know, it turns out out of the can was the most popular category, which makes sense because they are out of the can, but still. This is me and Lucas's official ranking of our 19 Chef Boyardee canned dishes. As you can tell, they aren't restaurant quality. Mac and cheese wasn't restaurant, but for the most part, none of them are restaurant quality. If you, if you fully assess this chart, Chef Boyardee is doing pretty good. Even how some of them were in fast casual and it's still out of a can, that's impressive to me. I know, you'd think they'd all just be out of a can. It's cheap canned food. Yeah. We didn't compromise our morals while making this ranking and we were full of integrity, respect, and the utmost thought. None of this was done carelessly and I hope you guys could sense that while watching.